Ladies and gentlemen, back for another recording slash live streaming tutorial here. And today we're going to teach you guys how to request songs on a live stream on either Twitch or YouTube using Nightbot. As a big point of emphasis before I start this video is that YouTube ends up having copyrights, so you're going to have to be very careful, uh, you know, when you do uh, request uh, have song requests on a YouTube live stream. You are not allowed to upload a YouTube live stream with song requests because you could take risk of either getting copyright claims or copyright sticks. Honestly, if you don't care and you're okay with the copyright claims, go ahead and upload them. But honestly, a big risk is getting a potential cop uh, copyright strike by requesting songs. I just want to tell you, if you're doing song requests on YouTube, please be very careful uh, in the process. So, let's get straight into it, guys. Thank you again for 50,000 subscribers. We just ended up hitting that before we started. I just want to get a little thank you for that. So... Let's get straight into the video. So first, guys, what we need to do is we need to log into Nightbot. So we're going to log here on our Twitch account. And like I said, I have the Twitch and YouTube pages open. As I'll show you guys here how to get them up. And then we're going to authorize our account. And then once we're into the dashboard, we're going to go to the song request section, which is, like I said, where you do the song request. Now, obviously, there's two sections of it. You've got Auto DJ, where basically it's where people can request songs. And you got your playlist. So... If, let me say, for example, you have your own custom playlist of songs. You can literally insert songs into the playlist and just have your playlist play if you don't want people just requesting songs. But for the sake of this, we're going to go to Auto DJ. So, as you see here, guys, we have songs. Honestly, already they're already set up. Here, I have songs from past. So, there's a couple of things you can do here. Now, obviously, I'm since we're uh, since like I said, I want to have songs here. I'm going to clear the queue. Now, clearing the queue basically clears out all the songs that have been requested by either you or your viewers. And that only leaves the songs left that are on your playlist. See, it'll only keep the songs that are left on your playlist. But if you requested songs, if you do the clear thing, it'll clear that or songs that you requested that were not on the queue. Now, obviously, you can disable by clicking the disable button. Clearing the queue, like I said again, will just clear out the songs you or a viewer requested that aren't on the playlist. You can request a song from here if you hit this, and obviously you got to copy the, D, uh, the URL from either SoundCloud, Spotify, or YouTube if you wanted to. And then obviously the settings, you can pick a user level to who can request a song, either that be maybe just the owner, would that be you, a moderator, regulars, so you could set regulars in the permissions, a subscriber, or everyone. And obviously, you know, since you know on your Twitch stream, you probably want to pick either everyone, a regular, or a moderator. And obviously, there's a lot of trolls, so you gotta be careful with who you allow to request songs. All right, so keep it everyone. Then you pick the provider, whether that be SoundCloud, Spotify, YouTube. You can obviously check off or check on some of them. Obviously, I have all three on. Then you can pick the playlist. When your song queue is empty, we pull songs from the selected playlist, and basically, you could pick either from your channel or actually Monster Cat, the YouTube channel, and Monster Cat does have some non copyright stuff but you got to be very careful you might have to get permission from them to use their some of their songs without if you're at least streaming on YouTube on 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 Twitch it won't really matter and then your search provider like I said you either pick again YouTube Spotify or SoundCloud then we've got limits basically how many songs can be stored in the queue it gives you like a number like I said you can pick up to 100 or or 1 like I said, we have 30 as our limit then you can limit the playlist. And then this will force songs requested to originate from the playlist. So basically only playlist songs. Then you can set a user limit to how many songs a specific user can request. And then you have the exempt level to where all the above uh, limits can be not basically forced. And then you could basically set that for a moderator, owner, so regular subscriber, everyone. And then we've got the YouTube section. And like I said, this will say, this will require requested YouTube videos to be from the music category. And you can check that or check that off. And then limit to like videos will only allow people to request videos with more likes than dislikes. So, put it this way, if there's a troll video, you might want to you might wanna enable this. Because, you know, people and troll requesting troll songs, you might want to do that. Just so you don't have people requesting, you know, very disliked videos that could be trolly. Alright, after that, after you're done with all your things, you just click submit and I'll save everything. And obviously from here, you can obviously set your audio, how loud you want it to be or quiet. Here is where you can start it. And this is where you can skip. This is the skip button, the pause, and obviously the volume button, like I said. 
Then you can obviously, like I said, view through YouTube. You could save your channel playlist right here, and it obviously gives you the YouTube channel link as well. And then, like I said again, so we're gonna show you guys how to request a song. So if you're interested to see how it, how a song gets into the playlist, we're gonna show you an example here. So I'm going to request the song "Glitter and Gold," which is actually a really not a popular song, but actually one of my favorite songs. So in the Twitch chat here, we're in the Twitch chat now. We're going to type explanation point song request. That's the automatic set thing for it. Obviously, I don't think you can obviously make a custom one out of it. And then we're going to put glitter and gold. And then after we click that, it will put it in right there, Barnes Coney, glitter and gold. And it's been added as position one. And now we go to Nightbot. And we look number one, Barnes Courtney Glitter and Gold. And then obviously, I'll put up another one right now just to show another example. So let's request the song Rap God from Eminem. And then bada bing, bada boom. Obviously, it picks, since it wasn't even Eminem, but it picks the top result usually from that search result on YouTube. It, so like I said, this did not give me Rap God from Eminem. So sometimes you're going to need to put a YouTube link so i'm gonna show you guys here how to put in a youtube link on twitch obviously maybe some of you don't know or do but this is basically you know also for your moderator on rap god here i'm gonna pause it copy the link all right so now we're gonna basically do what we just did so just point to song request again and then press Control v or just obviously the copy button then bada bing bada boom and there it is right in the list and obviously for example if i want m and m at the top i just press that button and boom it is at the top of the list and if i want to get rid of it just hit this and it automatically deletes it and lastly this will delete and this goes up and basically that is it other than the playlist section and the playlist section is basically where you can import some of your best songs you can obviously clear it if you choose to and you could add songs and how you add songs basically is by YouTube link and you can import like I said if you have a uh, SoundCloud Spotify or YouTube playlist you can import it in to Nightbot here and that way you can have your automatic playlist set up and you won't have to actually drag and drop every single song copy the link individually because that would take you about 30 minutes so maybe not 30 minutes but about 15 to 20 minutes you don't want to waste your time so honestly that's your best bet copy the link in there and then you're done and then obviously you can remove like i said songs from the queue if you click that trash button obviously you can scroll through them by clicking the numbers here and i think i'm pretty sure there's uh, i don't know what's the exact limit but i think it can go past 100 plus so that basically gives you your playlist and then auto DJ. So Monster Cat is something I do want to show you guys, though. Um, that is something you can use, honestly. So, for example, like I said, we wanted to use Monster Cat. So watch what I do here. When Monster Cat comes up, it'll be nothing but Monster Cat songs. So I'm going to switch right now to the YouTube right now. So let's go over to the YouTube. All right, so once we log into, we're going to go back to song request. And then, boom, here is the Monster Cat playlist. This is automatically set up on YouTube. I do not know, like I said, again, if you're allowed to play these songs, but you might want to look up some non-copyright, like, song places where you can actually list these songs. But this is basically where you get the Monster Cat playlist, and Monster Cat has its own little playlist for you. All right, guys, but like I said, again, you might want to be careful again with YouTube because copyright is an issue. Claims and strikes are possible, and if you get striked, you can't live stream for three months. And if you get claimed, you can't make money so on the on the live stream. So you got to be careful with what you obviously put on YouTube. Twitch, honestly, you can put whatever the heck you want as long as it's not, you know, racial or whatever. And that's basically my video, guys. If you guys have any questions, please leave them down below in the comment section. Guys, if we can go for 100 likes on this video, we would really appreciate it. And this is for you guys, my streamers out there that are trying to, like I said, make their streams better by playing songs. So, guys, thank you guys again for 50,000 subscribers. We ended up just hitting that today. I love you all very much. Thank you again for your support. We are on that road to 100,000 subscribers. And we're going to keep grinding for it. So, thank you all again for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video.